right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the Major Key Physique's six week fat loss transformation. It's going well, it's going well. If you're worried, don't be, because um, you know I knew that this was my opportunity to show you guys what's possible in six weeks, and that's exactly what I've been doing. So, today marks day 15. It's two weeks since we started this. As I explained in a previous video, the way I want to structure this is to have a check-in each two weeks. It's a six-week transformation in total, but we're going to check in three times. So one on the two-week mark today, the second one's going to be on the four-week mark, and the third one is going to be a final check-in to really determine how well we've done on the six-week mark. So today I'm going to do exactly what I did on the first day, and that is take some measurements. I'm going to note them down in my phone next to the other one, so we'll see what differences we've made. I've got my macronutrient breakdown on my phone, on my fitness pal that I've been filled, filling out. I will say that I missed two days. I missed Saturday and Sunday last week, so I had 12 of 14 days tracked, and I will show you guys a, a bit of a rundown of that. And also this morning, I took some progress pictures, which are right there. So once again, one from the front, one from the side, one from the back, and one from the other side. Head to toe in the same angle, the same lighting as the first ones, which is exactly what I tried to do. So with that said, here we are. I'm not gonna say it's been easy. I really, I'm not going to, you know, this was my opportunity to show you guys what is possible in six weeks. First things first, let's have a, let's have a look at the macro breakdown. My Fitness Pal is the app that I've been using. It's the app that I'd recommend anyone who wants to, you know, track in detail their diet. If you want to just be told what to eat, when to eat it, there's an option for you too. But if you really want to get involved, you want to learn about nutrition, you want to do this six week transformation and then take all the knowledge and the experience you've got and use it in the future to either continue to lose fat or put on muscle or, or do whatever you want. You can manipulate your diet whichever way you want to then manipulate the way your physique looks, which is the amazing thing about nutrition. Abs are made in the kitchen, guys. You've heard that before. It's 100% true. So what I'll tell you guys is that, yes, my training has been very, very important to try and maintain my muscle mass over the last two weeks, but diet will always trump training when you're trying to lose body fat. It really will. That's the way it is. There is one feeling that I recall very, very clearly, but I'd forgotten about it for a while until I started cutting this time, and that was the feeling of waking up feeling hungry. Funnily enough, yeah, it's not comfortable. But it is a very, very satisfying feeling because you know that you've stuck to your diet the night before. The only way you're going to wake up hungry is if you pretty much went to bed kind of hungry. Um, and so I've been waking up hungry most days and that's a fantastic feeling for me, especially when I want to get results in the most efficient and effective way possible. Now, what that means is that you're going to have to refuel before your next workout. So the way I've been doing it is I've been doing intermittent fasting. Um, this is a, a way of, of dieting for me that just suits me. It suits me because I can wake up in the morning and go five, six hours without eating because I'm so focused. You know, if my mindset is right that morning, I don't need to eat. I'm so happy about how I'm progressing with my diet. I'm happy, I'm, you know, I've woken up feeling leaner than the day before. I don't want to eat, to be honest. The only reason I am eating in the morning is if I have a day off work, in which case I'm going to train at about lunchtime. Uh, you know, there's no way I'd be weight training on a completely empty stomach or feeling hungry because that, you know, you might you might see it as a placebo effect, but it does affect my training. It really does. It makes me feel weak from the start. It makes me, you know, start to second guess myself about hitting certain weights. You know, I'll take a step back and I'll, I'll go a bit lighter, which is not what I want to do. The one thing I will say is if you're focused on maintaining your muscle mass that you've you know, fought tooth and nail to put on during this cut, you're going to want to continue training the way you always have. You're going to want to have those heavy sets in there to maintain you know, that, that stress on the muscle, to maintain that muscle mass, otherwise you'll lose it. If you don't use it, you lose it, especially when you're cutting. So we've got the weight. I did that this morning, 95.2 kilos. That is a loss of almost four kilos for my first weigh-in. That's definitely to be expected. I didn't have any food in me for the weight. I did have some liquid, but I did have some uh, track pants on as well. So realistically, if I had have taken my weight first thing in the morning, waking up out of bed without drinking anything, nothing like that, it would have probably been like 94. And that is, you know, it's a bit of a worry. I didn't want to drop that much weight too soon. 
But what you have to remember is that a lot of that is glycogen, a lot of it is water weight, and you know, the amount of actual body fat that I've lost, well, we're about to find out. So, four kilos down, we're gonna do some measurements now and compare them to my first lot of measurements, which I have in my phone. So I'm gonna do that quickly, and I'll be back to tell you guys how we go. Nick minute. All right. Okay, now I must admit, guys, that that's, it's kind of annoying doing that. Um, but, you know, hopefully with you guys, if you're going to do it, if you're going to take your measurements again, you'll be getting good results, so that makes you feel good. But it does take probably about five or ten minutes, so just be wary of that. But before I go on, let's run through these. I'm going to write them down. I'm going to write them down on a big piece of paper like this. We're going to go starting measurements this side. Then we're going to have a column week number two, week number four, and week number six, and then have the final results on the right here. So we need five columns. That's what we're going to do. Is it going to fit? Oh, that pisses me off. That really does piss me off. Oh, well, fuck it. Let's go. Okay, guys. All right, here we are. Done. Done, done, done. We've got the progress pictures. We've got the measurements. We've got the diet. But basically, what I've just done is I've just got all the information that I'm going to need to send to myself as a client of Major Key Physiques. You're going to need all your measurements, which I'm going to then enter into my database. You can have them on your database too, but just send them to me, as well as the progress pictures, which I'm going to put into your file. Each client is going to have a file. It's completely confidential. I'm going to have your photos in there. I'm going to have your measurements. I'm going to have any any data that you provide me. So then at the end of the six weeks, I can pull that up and we can really, really look at everything. It's gonna be fantastic, I can't wait. So, this is how we're looking. Okay? Quick run through. I've lost an inch on my neck. I've lost 2.25 inches around my shoulders. I've lost an inch on my chest. I've lost an inch and a half on my waist. I've lost a quarter of an inch on my left arm and a quarter of an inch on my right. I've lost a quarter of an inch on my left thigh and a quarter of an inch on my right thigh and my calves are both the same. So we're definitely making progress. What I want to say is that I probably look the worst I'm going to look in this whole entire series right now. And you can really tell with like my shoulder measurement, you know, my shoulders haven't lost any strength or size. It's just that I'm really, really flat and depleted right now. So that you know, bulk, that mass, that, that, that width that you, you have, you lose it, you start to lose it, you start feeling skinny, you start feeling, you know, uh, all, these, all these things go on in your head, man, it starts being a real head fuck, but if you've got this, you've got all your information, you trust the process, you've got a plan, you're going to be in an awesome position to have a fantastic transformation at the end of it. With that said, um, I am about to go downstairs and play with my little baby daughter who has kept me and my girlfriend up every single night for the last three weeks. So, by all means guys, keep following along. If you're doing your own transformation, good luck. Get these numbers down so you can really, really assess what you've been doing. If I had have taken these numbers after one week, you know, I probably, it, there's no point, okay? We've done it really well. I'm happy with how we've done this. So next week, or in two weeks time, I'm gonna come back here, right here, same place, same time, and we're gonna fill in this column. So hopefully, hopefully, the way I see it, I reckon my neck will, will honestly probably stay the same from now on. Um, I'm hoping shoulders and chest, shoulders, chest, arms, and legs don't go down too much, but I'm expecting that they probably will because there is body fat there, it's not straight muscle. And I'm hoping the waist goes down the most. I am hoping, guys, okay, this is my prediction. I'm hoping for my waist to measure 32 inches by the end of this, and that is gonna be really, really great for my physique. You know, that those couple of inches is just gonna completely transform the way I look. So yeah, that's me. 
Good luck on your journey. I will see you back here, same time in two weeks. Train hard, eat well. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.